how to revise all these things before csi net examinations i mean there are 13 units and there are part b part c and even there is a part a that is uh, and aptitude and reasoning if that is the question that you have then i have an answer to you and answer is very simple you can revise your csi net preparation even with one month in hand although two month is necessary for a better revision of csi net syllabus but one month is even enough for your better preparation of csi net life science for the upcoming net exam how to do the best possible revision practice for your csi net life science preparation stay tuned to learn that in this particular video the revision of csi net life science syllabus okay now when you start the revision process you have one thing in your mind there are 13 units there are so many things that you prepared and read and i think you have a pile of books in your table you have a pile of materials from us from other places now you are confused sahi pakda hai nahi bilkul pakdana chahiye aur ye cheez it's a it's a you know panic situation for the students that with all these materials what we should do now i have a straight cut solution to that the first thing that you need to do is there are three step process that i want to share for a better preparation of csi net life science and first is uh, the timeline first is the timeline of the preparation of the revision second thing that is important is uh, the routine second is the routine and what is the third thing the third thing is the technique third is the technique these are the three steps that we are going to discuss in this particular video to make you understand how to prepare the revision part of the csi net life science so i'll take a different color here to tell you different parts of it so first is the timeline you need to first decide the timeline like how many days you have for the revision so i said that you need at least one month not less than one month and two month is better two month is even better it's recommended so you need to have this time frame otherwise this strategy will not work for you currently you have one month in your hand so fine it will still work what is the routine the routine that you need to follow for the revision part is very very crucial very important you need to draw the routine and to print it and into every single day you need to follow that routine stick to the routine and for this one month or two month span your perseverance will be deciding factor you know the limiting factor in biological sciences your perseverance is going to be the limiting factor for your qualification for csi net mark my word print it it is going to be the single biggest truth that you need to learn the one who has the highest perseverance will win it's just like a turtle not the rabbit the rabbit will not win the turtle should win in this case slow but steady wins the race and the routine that you need to follow in this particular case it depends on you many students ask me sir give me a routine but giving a routine as a general sense is not going to be helpful you need to design and draw a routine based on your requirement based on your time devotion for example a person can only devote 2 hours a day 2 hours a day is it possible to even revise everything 2 hours a day for a month very difficult you need to even give 3 months for the revision but if a person is giving 4 hours a day minimum 4 hours a day or 4 hours or more than 4 hours a day uh, then the revision for csi net is seem doable that is a doable job so for one month preparation you need to give 4 hours a day for uh, the like 2 uh, hours a day time frame you can prepare and revise the syllabus in 2 months i am talking about revision not about learning new things okay so that's one thing they need to write you need to also fo follow a routine the routine should be divided such like uh, first of all in this throughout one and two month time frame it's a prerequisite that in this time frame you should avoid any of the excess social media platforms including facebook instagram telegram and all these things only focus to materials that is important to you if it's youtube lectures then stick to it if it's any other material stick to it then abandon youtube in that frame but for this time frame you should only be focused to your study do not compare your study with any of your friends any of your friends from any other places never ever do that if you do that you'll never reach the destination the destination is qualifying the csi net right this is the prerequisite but once it's clear then you need to divide your routine every single day 4 hours a day or 6 hours a day or 2 hours a day is fine you need to divide it in two different sections revising modern csi net units 
and then revising classical CSRNET units. Now, what are the modern units and classical units? Let me write it here. The modern unit is unit 1, uh, unit 2, unit 3, unit uh, 4, uh, unit uh, so 13. And the classical units uh, be like unit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are the modern units, these are classical units. Now what I mean by modern and classical unit is that modern units are topics which if you follow that biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, cancer biology, biological techniques, these are mostly visualization topics in the molecular level. So things that we are learning that DNA replication, transcription, RNA processing, degradation, all these things. And unit 13, for example, techniques like uh, chromatin immunoprecipitation, polymerase chain reaction. These processes we, we can imagine but, or we can see animations. But we cannot simply see these things in front of our eyes. These topics are topics that you can see in front of your These are molecular level mechanisms. So, mechanisms we have to understand. Mechanisms we have to understand. 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 We evolutionary biology ki ye evidence based uh, subject hai jahan pe aap jab hum baat karte hain kisi interaction ki when we talk about any kind of interaction be it uh, uh, predation or be it commensalism amensalism we know we can clearly see those interactions living creature and how they behave altruism how they behave everything that we can understand from that so this is something which is uh, what i can say is a macro scale understanding while these are micro scale understanding biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology. That's why I always found it very important to mix these two type of topics in every single day. So, if you have continued continuously cell biology, molecular biology uh, ki topic, then what will happen? You will have to do it in That's what happens. So, in this case, it's very important that you mix it up. So, every single day, you you read some of uh, the modern biology, some of the classical biology. It's a balance bana rahega, santulan bana rahega. Preparation would be good. Okay, do this. This should be your routine and you divide uh, the units. First of all, uh, so before even going into all the 13 units, I, I know that all of you are not going to prepare all the 13 units. If you are preparing 13 units, very, very good job. It's a commendable job. But if you are not doing it, you don't have to do it, you don't have to do it, you don't have to do it, so first choose those units and again divide them based on the modern and classical and then revise them 50-50 every single day. If you are revising for 4 hours, then 2 hours, 2 hours will go here and 2 more hours will go here. Based on that you will continue. Okay, that is the idea, that is the, te that is the routine process and this is the technique. Now we will be discussing about the technique. So once the routine is made, you know the routine, you have the units that you are going to prepare in your hand. And you have classified them, you, you, you have uh, now a blueprint in your hand. You know how much time you are going to devote every single day. At this time, what technique you should apply for revision? You know, revision means uh, you have already understood that topic. Now you are going to reread it in order to print it in your brain. Because there will be part B questions which are memory based. So without that memory, without memorizing, you cannot answer that. Even part C question for last few CSR examinations are tend towards memory type. So, you need to mug it up, you need to put it in your brain along with understanding it. So, both are required. Both are required. It's not like you remember once and then you remember once. Because if you remember once, you will forget it quickly. If you learn it properly, you will forget the concept, then you will not forget it. Right? So, what happens here is then the technique uh, will be related to quick revision. So, quick revision techniques uh, are not involved with hardcore books reading. I always prefer to read from hardcore peer-reviewed books at the beginning of the preparation where I need to lead, read and learn many things. But during revision, notebook is something that you need. For example, our Shomu's Biology Blueprint Handbook okay, or any other company book you can take uh, as per your choice. You can start revising from those notebooks which are precise but a lot of information are there. It's informative yet precise that will help you to boost your brain up. Second thing with videos. So we'll go with videos. My channel contains 3200 videos and I believe all, almost 3000 videos are there for CSRNet life science preparation. Yes, 
all you need to do is simply go inside my channel and search in the name of a video and i believe i think you're going to get a video on every single topic that you're going to search that was my plan initially to make video on every single topics on biological science on earth you're going to find it and once you find that video you revise from that video then you read the notebook then you read the notebook and then you solve solve mcq what kind of mcq previous years questions we will call it pyqs okay get a 10 years pyq book we also have that net set go book not only the questions but their answer and explanations are also there similar books you can get buy from any place i am not just going to say my book but any book you what you like but this would be your uh, cycle that videos notebook solve mcqs and check whether you are able to solve it properly or not if yes fine up to the extent that you need then if not then back to the videos notebook mcq previous years this is a cycle that you should continue and along with this preparation if you feel like you need a kick you need someone to tell you that go and sit for the exam practice exams that's why people need coaching we have multiple services we have complete coaching program for 6 months with 2 years validity you can join that we also have test series program where you can only attend test as per the cbt mode of csi net examination and can check your score that will help you to understand where you exactly stand in your preparation right and you also have study materials only if you want to prepare on your own self preparation kit is also available so we want to cater every single kind of students so it depends on uh, the requirement you can get any of that uh, but this is a cycle that you need to continue and follow in the technique part and technique part is very important and this technique you should follow for one month or two month depending upon your routine once you have the routine in your hand and if you want ready made routines in your hand how to do this how to prepare that and obviously every single of this is not available in youtube for free but that's a paid service in the coaching program that you can always obtain i wish you all the very best for the upcoming csanet preparation happy learning thank you